Hello everybody, Shift 3 again with another modded inscription act one run. And today I'm gonna be showcasing once again the diseased mod from Appella. And uh yeah, I mean let's begin right away. Let's pick up oh we got five for once, we got five uh teeth. Nice. And uh yeah, let's begin. So I have been told that there was a big change in the mod. If that change is actually active, we will know and we will do a very specific run. If the change is not active, I guess we're not. So we're definitely gonna pick up diseased though. <laughs> uh, diseased porcupine. Diseased wolf cub. One cost one one. Attacks and dice. Diseased elk. These symbols are insane. I could give these symbols to the diseased wolf cub. But the thing is that if I give these symbols to the diseased wolf cub, it will attack and it will die. It will produce me almost infinite bones, but still, it will attack and die, so the enemy will go through with an attack. That's a really... This is such a bad sigil. I can't even explain how bad this is. This is insane. So we take this, for sure. Now, for the rest, though... I guess disease porcupine plus disease wolf cub? Can I even win? I guess I can win with this. But can I win with only these two? And how can I even play this? This is not going well. <laughs> I guess we go with Ant Queen. I mean, the Sparrow is not going to give us a win. I guess we pick these two and the Ant Queen. Those are the... I mean, this is trash. This and this are not going to be playable. Sparrow is trash. So I guess we go with these three. Some really bad choices here. And I don't even have what I want. And uh, now let's go to the flame. What I want is... Um, I mean, I, meant, I, did, I don't have a good unit. That's what I tried to say. This is health. Okay, no, I have been told that diseases, uh, diseased units actually disease the opponents. So I will try to do a, fi a fire run. Now, the main question is, what should I throw away? Because right now I can't even play anything. I think I should play, uh, throw away the diseased wolf cub, transfer these sigils onto the diseased porcupine, and uh, just flame the porcupine until the. until. until. Uh, I don't know, forever. <laughs> I think I want to throw away the diseased wolf cub. Somebody told me the wolf cub is not really that bad. I guess because you can sacrifice it again and again. I guess because you can play it every single turn. It's between these two. It's between these two. Should I pay should I make the diseased wolf cub? You know, you know the problem is that if I build up the diseased wolf cub, then um I might actually later down the road lose because of it, but uh, forcing it to die all the time. You know what? Let's 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 go all in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We are gonna go with a diseased wolf cub. Here you go. Fire, feeding time. Yeah, crash and haul. And uh, let's see if the change is actually real. <laughs> if it's not real, we might even lose the whole run here. <laughs> so let's see if the ant queen is gonna save us. A real wolf cub's coming in. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, panic, panic. So if I play the Ant Queen here, I can kill the Wolf Cub. So I play Squirrel into Squirrel uh, that's coming up. Yeah, let's let's go here. I mean, I don't need to play it. Pass. We pass. It's a swimmer, by the way, so we can't even kill it. I told you, Sift, swimmers are overpowered. A boulder and an Alpha. The Boulder is gonna kill us with Alpha. Alpha with swimmer. I mean. Uh, um, let's play the Ant Queen, try to get rid of the boulder, and then she will be doing 2 damage each turn. Although the Alpha is going to do more to us, and this is going to do 3 damage per turn. We're dead. I don't see how we can win this. Okay, because I don't see how we can win this, I mean, let's let's calculate here real quickly. I play 2 Squirrels and the Diseased Wolf Cub. Okay, these 3 units. Then I play the Ant Queen onto Squirrel and Squirrel, and the other last one onto the Diseased Wolf Cub, because it's going to create an Ant. The Ant's going to be a 2-2, two, two, and this is a 2-3. I can do 4 damage right now, but this is going to do 3 to us next turn. If I attack the Boulder, then uh, both of them are going to get hit next turn, because this is going to get buffed. And then the turn after that, the Alpha and the Boulder are going to kill... Uh, one of the two are, is going to kill the Ant, the normal Ant that's going to spawn. And then the turn after that, I mean, the Ant Queen will then have one damage. And then after that, she will die. Yeah, I, I can't see how we win this. So I'm going to go with the hook. We take this away from you. And now it's a normal Wolf Cub, which is going to be a three damage on the next round. And now I can continue with my plan. So now we play the plan normally. 
which is that you go here yep you join and you go here i hate the fact that grand first are on my side of the map i i this is i think the most stupid thing in this game uh the enemy taking away a lane from you and you don't even have any choice whatsoever and we won and uh, yeah that's it pretty much and now let's set up a win because as you saw my deck is really weak right now I think I should go for one blood. Luis. Mediocre, but whatever. Let's go to flame and let's see if it's actually true. It's true. <laughs> the warm light of the campfire was welcome sight. No hungry survivors will be bothering you this time. Okay, now what needs health? <laughs> I th I I'm definitely going to sacrifice the disease. Though. So I guess Ant Queen goes first. I obviously want to damage. But health it is. Definitely not giving health to Luis, which is a swimmer. Obviously. Let's hope we can somehow win, because I still have not gotten any damage up. Uh, I'm gonna do this Ant Queen combo again with the Wolf Cub. And this time it's a Prog Horn, so we will most likely win. We're gonna take two damage here, but... As long as it's only... A, yeah, it's, it's only going to be that thing. So we go here. Into this. Into this. Try to kill the Prog Horn, to be honest. Into this, into this. And now the moment the prog horn goes down, we should be winning. Well, that elk font's not gonna come in anytime soon. As uh, you're about to take backline damage. Be nice enough. Hello, Luis. Here, Luis, join us. He's trying to move. This is... Uh, this. Uh, uh, Luis could not have worse sigils. It moves to the right and then blocks the lane. <laughs> and then goes underwater and hides. Ooh, diseased wolf. This, for example, is something good for what we're going with. By the way, this is insane. I have been told a thousand times that this sigil plus this sigil is literally infinite uh, units. Because it's always trying to come in. Even if it dies, it comes in again and again and again and again. So I'm going to go with this and create the infinite. Why not? I have been told the infinite is overpowered. So the infinite we go to. Uh, I'm going to go with this. But Sift Bones! Well... The moment I clicked on the goat, I forgot. <laughs> I remember it. The moment, the moment I clicked on the black goat, I was like, oh, bones, what? Too late. <laughs> and uh, I did not draw my queen, which is here. Wait. Where's Luis? I guess it's two cards. Can I do a double lift? Am I skilled enough for a double lift? Uh, I can't actually do anything. I mean, the only thing I could actually do is play the squirrel here. Let's... Tactics. High tier tactics. Look at this. Whoop. <laughs> Let's get the queen, man. Let's get the queen. We're about to take three. And then the next turn we die. If I draw the queen, though... First of all, I can play the diseased wolf, if need be. So another wolf cub? Are you insane? Good thing we have the three flames, by the way. People being like, Yo, Sif, don't use the three flames. Yeah, that's why I'm using the three flames. To play, out, to play along with some not-so-powerful stuff. Okay, if I play the diseased wolf cub, I'm trying to not use my items. Maybe the knife. And the ant queen. And the ant. Which I can't play. I can't play the ant. That's the main problem here. If I could play the ant. Yeah, I think it's going to be a squirrel time. Squirrel time? Squirrel time and black goat time. Two items for one. Otherwise, do I have enough time if I do the knife? Knife is for life. One, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four. So we're at six. And then he attacks us for three, four. Actually, he attacks us for four. We're down to two. I attack him too, so I'm back at three. I can play the diseased wolf cub. Plus a squirrel. I can actually play the sacrifice that. Yeah, let's do the knife. Which, in my opinion, is a bit weaker. Because those I can use for instant wind. Why the knife? I can also use the knife for an instant win. Yeah! The plan's not so solid, but whatever. Very nice. Okay, and now we go with here. Plus here. And we go here. And we go here. And that's a win. By the way, I didn't... I, I, for some reason, I forgot that my Ant Queen... Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money. Uh, for some reason, I thought that my Aunt Queen <clears throat> does not have a thousand life. <laughs> I, 
I forgot it. I forgot that the Ant Queen has a thousand life. I need to keep that in mind to throw the into wherever and just tank with her. Yeah, let's go with the little goat. We're already in 10 minutes, man. Wow, we're 10 minutes in. I'm a bit slow today. Uh, I don't need this. Let's go for cards. I don't really want this. I mean, we get the Mega Sigil. It comes in for free. That's enough. I mean, this is like literally better than this. Because it's a 2-1. Attack is always better than defense in this game. Let's get a knife. I mean, let's replace the knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm saying and what I'm meaning is not the same. Lights out. And let's continue. Let's fight. Sift, you could have used the flames instead of getting greater smokes. Yeah, I know, but playing perfectly is more fun. I'm talking with myself here. I'm just randomly saying what you might have said. <laughs> Uh, I can play the Wolf Cup, which is gonna bring the Corpse Maggot in for free, but that's not a good plan. Overall, there isn't a good plan. I guess we play the Greater Smoke, and then we can play the Diseased Elk after that. Whip Pass. My Wolf Cup's behind. Okay. Luis. I <laughs> have so many bad cards. Um, I guess Luis on the pack, Newell? To be honest, Luis here. Clears this, clears this too. I mean, it's not gonna clear that because Luis is stupid and has swimming. Uh, <laughs> uh, stupid Luis. I guess we play the squirrel on the left. And send Luis over there. Where is Smoke's Toast? Oh, Maggot's here. Luis is going nowhere. Diseased Coyote's here, which is gonna join the fight too in a bit. And Adder is coming to the right, which we don't care about. The wolf's coming in, but I think it's not gonna come in, right? Yeah. Let's draw... Here is the diseased coyote from nowhere. Okay, I will need this for phase two, so we're gonna pass for the rest of this. I know the wolf's coming in. Well, I, I, that's it. I know that the wolf's coming in at the end. <laughs> Let's hope nothing else comes in. That's the main plan here. If nothing else comes in, then Luis will go to the right and slowly start smash. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I prefer this. It's macaroni. It's macaroni. It's macaroni. Struck gold. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just gonna draw squirrels here. I don't even need to use anything. We're just gonna pass. Get him. Thank you for the spot there. I needed the spot. And now we start our aggressive attack. Uh, there is a problem, though. I will not be able to protect my workaround if I play it. So I'm gonna pass here. And I'm gonna let the, the Ant Queen tank. Now though, now we can actually play the work rant because now we have two damage and can kill those. Boop, boop. Okay, we won. At this point, the mule's coming along, giving us the free win. Here, diseased elk, you can join the fight. Why not? Give me cards. How many diseased? Oh, I think two or three. Curse you. Curse you. Uh, we pass. And we won. 13 minutes in. Okay, I mean, this is a normal runtime. It's a normal runtime. Now we're gonna chase flames, though. <laughs> now we're going all in flame chasing. I mean, I am going to flame chase. So, Gek, I think, is the best choice. Or Hydra Dragon for the 555. But I think Gek with just 5, whatever's opposite to it. Maybe Hydro Dragon with a 555 is better. Hmm, I will go with Hydro Dragon. Let's go into the mod more. So if it's not Hydro Dragon, it's Hydro Dragon. Or something like that. The, here's our first flame, there's our second flame. Flame Chasers. It is actually Hydro Dragon. I read it correctly. Flame 1, Flame 2. Trump Frog. The Traveler's gonna be upset. I mean... It's uh, it's mediocre. I can't bring the little Perseus. Kills whatever is opposite to it. I, I could give it to the diseased wolf cub. Then it would attack and kill whatever is opposite to it. It could be like a throwaway card. I mean, I have so many things that I want to sacrifice to each other. That uh, I think this is a bad idea. Let's just reroll here and just pick whatever else. We can find better for sure. I mean, I say for sure. But you can see here for sure is not actually real. 
Let's go for this. This can be do like one or two damage. Or three or four or five or ten. Can I get damage from the flame, please? Damage flame, let's go. What did you feed them? I look welcome as always. Uh, infinite damage? Well, hide a dragon. That was the plan, right? Yeah, that was the plan. Flipperoni. 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 Five damage. Let's go. You can imagine that the Gek was obviously better, right? The Geek. I'm gonna say it from Geek from here on out. So, because a lot of people are sad that I wasn't saying... I, I, I'm gonna mix it up once in a while. Hydro Dragon is here. And uh, I don't have a bone. But I could have a bone. Hydro Dragon. Attack! Give me money. Thank you. Off we go. He's not picking up Ouroboros, but he is burning flames. <laughs> Let's continue. I see there is a path that I can choose, so I think I can get another flame after that. Let's go here. Of course. The bullfrog does not avoid... I cannot avoid the bullfrog. Damage. Nice. I will go with the coyote, I think. Maybe with the maggot? I'm thinking, by the way, to transfer this thing, these sigils, over to the coyote. That's why I'm thinking about the coyote for damage. These two on the Coyote. And also, this is a lot easier to play than this thing. So, off we go. Give it to Luis. He's underwater. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't give it to Luis. Because he's underwater. Forget it. This is Coyote. Let's build up a super team. La Flames of Win. I just need the Sacrifice Pit. Of which I'm most likely going to avoid because I'm chasing flames. I mean, it doesn't matter because it still uh, it still has a sigil and comes in the game for free. So uh, these are flyers. So theoretically speaking, this thing is pretty safe to play. Now you might say play the bullfrog to block the flyers. Well, that's pretty much a sacrifice on the bullfrog. Why would I do that? Let's go here. Now I do two damage and I'm about to take four. Okay. And then now I'm gonna do three damage and I'm about to take four, so I'm gonna be one lower than I am right now. Does anybody need more definitive proof than this thing here that swimming is trash? I mean, <laughs> it's as if I'm salty against people that disagree with me. But, uh, I mean, this is proof that... Fl that this is trash. Look at this. They they are losing right now from one card. I'm not even doing anything. Look at this. I don't need to do anything. Oh no, for damage. Oh no. Who cares? Thank you. I mean, I would uh, sla slap him with this. But uh, I'm just gonna play something above it. I can't even play anything. Well, I guess we slap it with this. Take seven damage. I wanted to take to get money out of this, but it is what it is. Doesn't really matter. Once again, flying is trash. <laughs> Never gonna stop saying that. Let's continue. Oh, it's a mole that creates bones. Disease mole, but creates bones. Yeah, boulder and baller. Yeah. Heh. <laughs> Yeah. I guess the disease mole? Do I even need bones? I mean, only this thing needs bones. Nah, let's reroll. Nah, original is here. I mean, everything's trash. Corpse Maggot, um, you know, at least Corpse Maggot gets played for free, you know. But Reginald is poisonous. But Reginald is poisonous. We go here. I could combine, but I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go there. I still have no totem right now. And now it's gonna be bugged or something. It's bugged. I hate it. I don't know. I, I I don't know what's causing this. Let me come back to this right away. Okay, I'm back. Uh, well, this is bugged, so off we go. <laughs> I don't know what's causing the bug, by the way. It is going to get fixed, but I don't think anybody cares right now for my overpowered uh, squirrels anyway, so... Let's hope we're not gonna get forced into one of those at some point. And then I guess I'm gonna midway, mid-run, remove the remove the mods or something? I don't even know what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna get forced. Oh, Luis is here. <laughs> no. Uh, and he's underwater, so he can't even die to bring the corpse maggot in. You see how trash this thing is? <laughs> rattler. I mean, he can't kill the rattler, so... 
Let's go here into here. He will attack, go underwater and move to the right. And the next turn he will kill the Rattler. I'm about to take four, by the way. And now I'm about to take another three from the left. I don't know something good. Luis, I hate you, man. I could have played all these. Um, I guess it's sacrifice time. Popping the big guns. Actually, I don't even need to pop the big guns. How minus am I? I'm two minus. I do have to pop both of these. Normally, I can pop just this and kill Luis off. I can pop these two, actually, which is better in my opinion. Pop these two. Do six here. No, but then this is going to kill. So actually, do six here. This is going to go to the left. Block one in. It's gonna kill, and then we're gonna take two damage. And in two damage, we die. Damn it! Luis! You trash! How can I... How can I get out of this? I guess I play the squirrel off to the side. Play the other squirrel. Sacrifice Luis. And I'm taking three damage, which is even worse. I, I have to play all my... All my items. I will take an L. Let's lose... I'm taking an L. It's okay. Ah, yeah, we were losing for sure. Three damage coming in. Yeah, forget it. Stupid Luis. Underwater is trash, man. This is the reason. Leshy is okay with flyers. You are not okay with flyers. And you having actually... Giving flyers to the enemy is so bad. Uh, everything's trash. This is Luis 2.0. The upgraded, even worse version. Uh... I guess Alpha? I guess Cockroach. I don't believe this. Everything is so bad. We get so bad cards today. So many bad cards. Let's go Cockroach. Whatever. Let's transfer a good sigil over for once. Okay, let's transfer this over here. I think, or, or over here. No, this... Oh, it's becoming immortal. But then I will not be able to play it for free. While well, this is gonna come in the game for free, pretty much. Yeah, if I play this, I'm winning right away. While this might not be a free win. Let's go here. That was the plan from the get-go. Diseased Coyote, 6-1, immortal. Let's go. Now it just needs to enter the battlefield. Which I can do by playing it by hand, if I want to. Tick, 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 tick. Now this I can rush. If I draw the Coyote right away, I can just rush to phase two right away. Damn it, didn't get the Coyote. Uh... <sighs> let's block down the lane. Now let's go. One to me. No, he's gonna hook a squirrel. Luis, you trash. <laughs> Welcome. I mean, I hope it's not a real person or something. So, I hope I'm not fucking smack about a real person. But the card is trash, okay? I can't, I can't do anything about it. It's trash. I can't do anything about it. We pass. Uh, I need to draw Squirrel twice. And one of them I'm gonna even get up, give away. Here. We're gonna take two. Okay. I'm gonna draw another squirrel. Uh, we pass, obviously. Actually, I can play the bullfrog here and buy myself even more time. Do one damage, and then he's about to hook something. I can give him another squirrel here. If he hooks the bullfrog, I don't care. Like, take it away. Can I... I don't know. I don't even know what I can do right now. I, I'm about. I'm about to do one and then take one. I mean, then I can decide. I can decide next turn what I'm gonna do. Do one, take one. Okay. We're at the part of the stage where I'm gonna do one and he's gonna do two and I'm gonna be at minus one here. We should not be losing. I, I should be calculating everything correctly. One. I'm always getting anxious about this thing. Okay, thank you. And now we can play like normal human beings. We go here. Bob kills the backline too, so we're pretty safe. Give him another squirrel. Bob. Now we turn it around. 
now we need to make sure that greater smoke dies actually i should have killed the greater smoke off in the, pre in the previous turn yeah i should have killed off the, pre the yeah that was a mistake this is immortal right this is gonna come back to my hand oh, i need to get rid of the greater smoke that's the problem because the disease of Yodi is okay, but the Greater Smoke's gonna hit the what whatever spawns um what's it called? The Great White, and it's gonna attack us and we're gonna die. Also the Corpse Maggot's gonna join oh, actually, yeah, we win. Pass. We got Corpse Maggot to cover that spot. Everything goes away. Now the two things drop. Let's draw real cards for a moment. Uh we pass. Oh no, a shark. Oh no, a shark. Yeah, kill this. Whoop, 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 whoop. And Maggot joins the club. And this is Coyote's back. Normally, uh, Coyote will always replace itself. And we pass and we win. Because you know why? Because going underwater is trash. That's why we won this. We won this because under going underwater is trash. I mean, because we have an overpowered unit, so two. But this was a lot faster than normal. That it normally should go. Should be. It should go. How, how normally it should be? Bait bucket, I like it. Airborne dragon. It's a 2 cost 4 2. It's it's a 4 2. I mean, mole man for defense, I think. Bait bucket is awesome as an idea. I mean, it's a better gek. As I can just power. You know what? We're gonna go with mole man. If you remember, this is a flame run. And mole man is really strong with flame. Defensive flame, especially. But offensive flame, even with offensive flame, the mole man's really good. The snow line. Let's continue. I, I'm sorry. Five bones, easy. Six health, easy. Sigils, I think, is the easiest. Yeah, sigils is the easiest. I mean, let's hope we don't hit this. But I got one, two, three, four, three. I got three units that give us an instant win and one unit that gives us a loss. Health. Health is a bit of a gamble. I mean, I have this, this, and this. Three, car Four cards that give us an instant win. But then I got a bunch of cards that don't. And bones... Forget bones. Let's go here. Loss. Win. Was a super win. <laughs> Disease bullfrog. 3 1 snaps. And got him. Ah, at least it devolves. Uh, I mean, it's a free unit, you know. We're playing free units. I'm okay with free units. Items I'm full, so let's go with throw something in the bin. Okay. I would say we're gonna bin Luis, to be honest. Or the Cockroach. Those two are, I think, my worst choices right now. Or, or the Bullfrog. I, I think I want to throw away Luis. Luis is better than the Reverse than the Bullfrog and the Cockroach. It goes underwater, man. It's a 1-1, one, one, goes underwater, and also has... Luis, you can uh, say Arrivederci to your life. I <laughs> mean, this is uh, what a bad card. No flames, as I see. So let's go to this, into this. And then over there to the sacrifice. I wanted more flames. I'm disappointed with the amount of flames we got. And Muspa guides this fight. Well, we didn't draw the correct Goyote. <laughs> Frozen possums coming in. I guess we play this and do some damage. There is uh, nothing else to be said, actually. Here, let's start doing damage. This thing is going to push them all to the right. Whip ass. When this thing dies, it will create what I needed to. And now mole's coming in. I don't believe this. It's gonna push it to the right. Can I draw my mega cards? I drew a mole man. I drew a mole man. I guess I can do a scroll into mole man. Block the moose buck for some turns. I mean, the moose buck is gonna go to the left now, right? And then it's gonna be completely boxed in. I mean, it's not gonna be completely boxed in. I'm about to take three damage. One, two, three. And I'm gonna not even kill this. So I think I should play the mole man right now. Buy myself as much time as possible. Okay, I know that this goes up. I could have just drawn the squirrel and kept it. But if I did this, the moose buck would move to the right. Mm, let's go here. And queen. The infinite life and queen. I like it. Um, am I willing to take three? I mean, this is gonna do one, two. And then another there in the back. I will draw the squirrel and not do anything, to be honest. Let's do this and pass. This will kill the backline too, which is my plan here. 
Nice. Nice, you die the hero. Corpse Maggot has joined the fight. Okay, now this is gonna clear this out, and then the Moosebuck's gonna move to the right and kill uh, this thing. Actually, it's not gonna kill it, because I'm gonna attack first for 5 damage, so we're gonna damage it first. I mean, it is going to kill it, but still, we get some damage out. I can't send the Cockroach in. You know what? Your time to shine, Cockroach. Your time to shine. Thank you. Let's draw this. Now this does 4 damage. I don't think I want to play anything, because we're getting damage through. And uh, this thing is gonna get, gonna get damaged and then attack us. And the backline isn't even gonna come in. Because first the backline tries to come in and then um, units move. I guess we pass. I guess we pass. Easy win. Could have gained a bit of money, but who cares. I used two items, so maybe I should go for the items instead of the sack. Items are extremely important. I will look what sacrifice I would like to do. Damage, blood. Damage or blood is the choice. We can lose it with these two on the one, two, three, four, five. These units are gonna make us lose on damage. Actually, all of them. Okay, <laughs> blood cost. Two, 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 one bones. I mean, I only have three bone units. The rest are gonna help. The rest are gonna super help. Damage. We just checked. Life. I guess life. We have like five cards that instantly win us. We won. Success. It kills the enemy and then also gives you a B. <laughs> uh, it draws whatever you want, but it costs two. Well, if these things did cost one, I would pick them, obviously. The, these sigils are so much better than this thing. But I have such a bad early game. This might save us. Especially against Moosebuck or whatever weird is going to come up. Yeah, there is an item coming up, and I'm not gonna go there, so I would say sack. Yeah, let's go sack. But Seth, you can chase down combine. I don't even have anything to combine. No, I would say we transfer infinity onto the Corpse Maggot. Or maybe on the Mole Man. I think Mole Man is a better choice. Infinite Mole Man. I like the idea of that. Pretty much immortality. Yeah, let's go with this. He's blocking everything. And I can sacrifice him whenever I want. And he isn't even costing anything. He costs one, but because I because he himself is a sacrifice, it's as if I'm transforming a, every single squirrel I have in my hand always to a mole man. That's how I'm thinking of it. Look at this. The Yugi hand is here. And what's coming in? A moose buck. Of course. Um, I guess we go with the squirrel on the left. And we're gonna destroy them next turn. Whoop, that was a mistake. <laughs> the moment's gonna go and sacrifice himself, though. Does this thing... By the way, this is immortal, so I can literally just do this. And uh, even if the enemies kill it, I'm still gonna get through. So, Elkfawn wants to come in. Moosebuck's gonna move to the left. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. And uh, I'm not going to do damage, but we pass. Doom, doom, doom. That's dead. Now, next turn, though. Next turn. Now you're going to wait what's going to happen from there. Oh, no. They move to the left. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Now, next turn, though. <laughs> it did. I would like to be able to play the diseased coyote here, but I can't. We pass. Doop, doop, boop, boop. I wanted to play the Dizzy Coyote. It's got no flames. Where are my flames? This was supposed to be a flame run. Kaminsky, let's go. <laughs> Reroll. Let's see what we get. Luis. <laughs> He's sad now because he got sacrificed. Everything is so bad. I prefer the Sparrow, you know. I prefer the Sparrow over Luis. Because at least the Sparrow will die and trigger my uh, get spawned for free effects. Luis, Luis, not really. Up oh, there is a fly. I didn't see a flame. Ooh, this is played twice. Ooh, this is bones. Uh, I mean, I will go with the squirrel. Sack is coming up. Totem's coming up, but it's most likely bugged. I will attempt to go in there. Oh, we got the bull. Oh, this is the this is the hand. We actually got the hand. Go here, into this, into 
I could play the diseased wolf to bring the coyote in, but I want to bring the coyote off to the left. So we pass. And we also do damage this way. Oh, he's gonna YOLO here, kill the bullfrog. Biggest mistake of his life. Mole man has arrived. Um, I guess we play the mole man. We pass. Oh. Why am I... Oh, because for some reason it, it showed me the deck instantly. We pass. Oh. Toast. Oh, mole man. Whoop. Nope. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> they can't damage me. It's over. I got the power. I got the high ground. Easy enough. Let's continue. Even if the mole man dies, comes back to my hand. I play a squirrel. I play the mole man. Once again, damage immune. I'm damage immune. I'm getting units for free in the field. Damage. Sigils. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's sigils. I don't even need to check it at this point. Oh, ho, ho, it's sigils. Oh, ho, ho, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it's super sigils. Can I get like a rare card buffed? What is this? You're not even gonna use it like that. Tier infinite beehive. I even prefer this over the, the rest. Do I have good sacrifices? That's the main theme here. Do I have good sacrifices? Make the Hydro Dragon flyer. That's the best I can see here. Other choice is give the Hydro Dragon the Corpse Maggot Instant Swan. I don't think I need that. Let's make the Hydro Dragon flyer. <laughs> Hydro Dragon attack! <laughs> the sound effect of the Hyper Beam on Pokemon. I guess the, the old version. Does anybody remember? When the sound was like... <laughs> and it just was just one beam just moving in the screen. And everything was like... This seismic as if as if distraction is happening on the screen was like flickering and whatever and then next turn you pass your turn <laughs> let's go i'm remembering old stuff i can insta win this too right if i want i can insta win this too and then draw whatever's in this pile and then just attack again and win like the good old days well i can't because i don't have the deck but i could have if i could have let's go with the trap frog and the beehive. The trap frog and the beehive. And the greater smoke. I definitely want the beehive. Actually, forget the trap frog. Let's go with the beehive. Go beehive. We go here. And, uh... Oh, no. We can do both. Here, let's forget the diseased wolf. Then let's go here, too. Let's go. Bee is coming in. Bee armada. Whoops. It's a bee. Get trapped. It's a bee. I mean, this is a bug. The, the, the animation there is a bug. Let's go with real card and queen. Um, I guess we eat the bee in there. Bullfrog's coming in. Let, let the bullfrog relax over there for a moment. Boop. No, no. Whoop, beehives here. Mistakes. Can you please give me what I want? Yes, I got the wolf pelt. Very nice. Now, uh, guess what? The bee is uh, not immortal, but the beehive is immortal, so... <laughs> the diseased coyote is also gonna come in and die, but uh, we don't care about that. Boop. Oops, a wolf's coming in. That's not good. That's not good at all. Mole man's here. Master mole man of mole maniness. How are you doing, my dude? Let's go here. Let's go here. The reason I'm playing like that is because now I have the mole man and I'm pretty safe. I'm about to take three and one for damage. I'm about to lose. Mistakes were made. Let's go with the mole man over here and let's play. Oh, this beast dies. Ah, yeah, the diseased coyote. I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot the diseased coyote coming in. Well, it doesn't matter. Wolf cub. We got another bee. The beehive is immortal, by the way. Literally immortal. And it can even play itself because... Uh, the beehive, even if it gets overkilled, like if it takes 10 damage, it will give you one bee. And then you can play the bee and the beehive again. <laughs> My name is Defense. I like Defense. I like to play slow. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. And now this time the beehive is going to die and the corpse maggot's going to come in. Going to pass here. An arrow's coming in. Oh no, my mole man. Everything's going sideways, by the way. <laughs> Things are not spawning in the place I want them to. Okay, I think we won at this point. So the time has come to uh, draw the mole man back, I guess. Yeah, let's draw the mole man back in the hand. Whoops. And deny damage. Boop. Boop. Do -do 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 You're toast. Next. 
Maybe I should have delayed this a lot more to draw my deck. I wanted to draw my deck, to be honest. I could have delayed this a lot more. Oh no! What should I do? Oh, diseased grizzly, 6 4. Okay, well, we're winning right away, so it doesn't matter what we get. Uh, I don't have my deck. Regardless, though, I don't see us losing somehow. I mean, this is 11 damage. What are we even talking about? Oop. I, di I, I didn't draw any of the two super cards we have in the deck. So that's pretty rare. And hoof. And let's go. By the way, I added a unique card. I added a sift card here on boss rewards. We haven't gotten it once. I mean, these are so bad. And then we got to a boss, which we don't want to pick up. Uh, should I just pick up Ouroboros for the funsies? Nah, let, let's uh, let's stick to our... We don't pick Ouroboros up. Why don't you add a mod that removes Ouroboros? Because I don't want to remove it. I want to see it and decide to not pick it up. Okay, we don't have any of those in the deck. I guess we go for sacrifices. I definitely don't go for another pack rat. I prefer to just sacrifice the pack rat if I don't have anything better. Sacrifice. I mean, I have something a lot worse. <laughs> I guess we throw the pack rat in the bin. Because this sigil is... I mean, the, the whole card is bad, but the, the sigil itself is also trash. Wow. Wow. So many good choices. So many good choices. Let's go here. Uh, just because of the fact that uh, I can pop an item and draw a card. So that this thing gets... It's as if I draw a card. As if. As if. I mean, what would I choose? The bullfrog. Make the bullfrog draw a card, man. Make the bullfrog give you an item. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good luck. There is no good luck. You're gonna get destroyed first turn. I have a swimmer. <laughs> Actually, I think it was Luis and I threw him out. Come on, give me a rare man. No! Okay, at least give me that I can draw whatever I want. Come on. Don't give me draw two cards. No. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Because I want to do my super hand right away. I want every turn I will play a super unit or something like that. That was my plan at least, but... I don't have infinite sacrifices. Should I just take a lot of time in the first round to set up my perfect board? I mean, I don't need to. I can just play the Hydra and that's it, pretty much. Oh, oh no, I, I know what I can do. I can um, I can play the 6 cost. Yeah, I got this, I got this. By the way, I can even play twice if I want. Maybe I should play twice. You know, play twice, set up the board the way I wanted to, and then win. Oh, our first turn, I can't even draw what I want. Whoops, we got the diseased coyote, though. Which is actually what I want. Man, this god's coming in. Um, I guess I buy myself some time with the greater smoke. Play it here, and we'll pass. Yep, I want you to do that. <laughs> you fell run right into my trap. <laughs> diseased coyote is here. Do I have anything else that's diseased? No. Go here. We go Hydra Dragon. Yeah, we're gonna go Hydra Dragon. Nice. And uh, theoretically, I can play my whole board right now and win. Right? I can do Pop, Pop. Play the Diseased Coyote. Play the Hydra Dragon. Win. And he's gonna be like, ah, I'm about to slam you. <laughs> let's, um, let's go. Let's do it. We begin. The combo begins. So, we go with the Squirrel. Wait a minute, can I have... Do I have lethal? Yes, I do have lethal. We go with Squirrel into Black Goat. Do I even need to draw the Black Goat? No, I don't even need to draw the Black Goat. Let the Black Goat rest. Let him rest. He has been helpful. You know what? I want to have the Mole Man on the field too. Mole man joints. Mole man joints. So we go here. Okay, the first thing I have to do is sacrifice these two. 
just not make him just sift just don't make a mistake we go here and i would say here to always attack the first lane and now we go here and here to be able to play it now we go mole main here because it doesn't matter and now this thing is gonna move to the left die and then this tuk 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 kills everything let's go boop 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 he's like i'm about to slam Oh no! Well, not enough, not enough Grand Fears. <laughs> not enough, my dude. Not enough. Not even closely enough. What else wants to get... What else is going to be part of the group photo at the end? Um, I guess this thing? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. Here, let's go with this thing. Why not? A pass. Boop. Oh no, Kaminsky. Oh, Kaminsky killed the Coyote! I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Coyote is like whoop whoop whoop. I'm here. Whoop whoop. Beta fake fake out and back in again. Like whoop 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 whoop. Let's go. Photo shoot. Yeah, this this works just fine. Just yeah yeah yeah. You you can dream that. That's a good thing. I mean, this is trash, but it is. I got another clock. Are you insane? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna beat him with this. Oh no, I'm I'm kidding. Whoop, it's back. Oh no. I mean, I don't care. This is an easy win. Let's go. Whip pass. Top, 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 top. Hydro dragon. Hydro dragon. Hydro dragon. Pass. Boop, boop, boop. He took, what? 11, 21 damage. Well, if it was Blackjack, he would be a winner. <laughs> Like the bones at the end. Cling, 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 cling. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. Leshy. Leshy, my dude. Give me the cake. Give me the flame. Yeah, let's go on. I mean, I wanted to do flame chasers, but there were only three flames. I think we only found three flames, right? One health flame. I mean, the, the first flame we burned, and then one health flame and one damage flame. No, we got two damage flames. So, theoretically, we got four flames in general. It's a bit sad. It's a bit sad. I wanted to get at least seven flames or something, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Flame chasers. Let's go. Yeah, I know we won, but it was not a it was not an extremely powerful win. But still, we got the. Is it another Ma Mangus day, Magnus? Okay. By the way, for anybody before you leave, before you leave. Um, I will upload later today a guide on how to install mods non-manually, so with the mod loader, because now we got the mod loader, yoohoo! But the only thing, there is some problems with the mod loader, but uh, I think they're gonna be fixed one of these days. So I'm gonna upload the mod loader tutorial either today or tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow if, um, if the mod loader still has bugs, because the, the old way still works. And uh, otherwise, we will go with uh, mod loader for here on out. And whatever mod is not on the mod loader, I'm most likely gonna stop playing. But I think most of the mods are. Either way, um, yeah, that's going to be it. So if you like the video, you know, classic. If you want to like the video, you could like the video. It's helping out. I I'm hearing something like YouTube removes the dislike button or something stupid like that. What's that all about? <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you want to tell me anything, if you have a mod or whatever, you can join the Discord if you want. I mean, yeah, you can join the Discord if you want. And um, yeah, comments are also welcome. I mean, I'm reading them whenever I get some free time. And I will also try to read yours, I guess. Either way, that is going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and see you guys around.